All right, we're back for... I can't remember which part this is, but we're in episode two. So let's do this. Let's do this. Right. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Okay. Sounds good. Um... Fire is still going on? Jeez. Yeah, I thought there was supposed to be like a vision. Shit. I slept all day. Well, what the hell? Yeah, I remember this. Okay. Dad? I can't remember which one we have to get first. Do I feel like Roasting a marshmallow? I miss him so much. Um. Do I even like marshmallows? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? I want to take it. Can I take it? Okay. Thank you.
Hmm. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look at what. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> I wonder if the fire is Rachel. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow top? <laughs> the audio keeps getting cut light? off. Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. All Who is, is the Illuminati? Man. Why are people Chloe, obsessed with it? This is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <laughs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? 
Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I said that one. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Shouldn't use each other as therapists, but okay. I mean, if you want. Well, Doc. Who's David again? Forgetting There's David. this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom. And oh, his name's David. I don't know why that he had a different name. He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Uh, it's step dick. He's uh, a step dick. Because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And <laughs> soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. <laughs> That's cute. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfind? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? 
You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. God, the audio I cutting is really weird. About me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. I'm in. Yeah, baby. You got you. Me and my girl. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. I mean, she has somewhere to go and Chloe does it. That yeah, sucks. <sighs> In hindsight, this is totally something I would do. In hindsight, if I had a place I could go to that was like a junkyard, I would do it. I would just build a little house there. I would totally do it. It would be such a good idea. But I didn't have that like option. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. I didn't have that option because it's like we were in the neighborhood and there's like no like rural places like this. Mikey. Steph says you're a nerd. Oh, no, this is all new stuff. Ack, I heard you got expelled. Sorry, yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. There's nothing new from there. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Wow, how much clothes does she have? Let's try on some clothes. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Which one do we want to try on? Oh, we can only try these two. I don't really like whatever the fuck that is. Where'd she get the other shirt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this better than the other one. I'm at the junk junk run now. That's great. I'm doing stuff though, so he could just wait.
Okay, let's just close again. Am I forgetting anything? Frank's outside. I should... Um, I hope there's anything else. Yeah. God. And we saw with Rachel's dad. That's really scary. Weird. Yo, she lives in the dumpster. It's Chloe. Why did she just say hi or something? I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Ah! Yeah. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Oh, oh God. I'm things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening to a betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Oh god. Uh, gross. What the hell is that? How is he not seeing this? But not advancing towards. Unusual indeed. What causes a fire to behave that way? I don't honestly know. Right now we're doing everything we Hot can. Sauce. Hot sauce. Bomb sauce. For the man who I'm enjoys searing pain in his drive through order. Wait. How does he have such a nice computer? Got a puppy? For oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Ugh. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Hmm. Why does he have such a nice computer? That's so weird. Like, how does he get internet and stuff? Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Can't look at the cereal box. <laughs> Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Is the dog back here? Oh, it is. Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompidou, get up here! Aww, it's a little fat Pompidou. dog. You little killer. He's got a knife. He's got whatever this is. Wow. 
pillow is definitely dead. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. Well, then what is he going to do with all the leftover? A throne fit for Frank. Frank and his BFF. Oh, he's cool looking. That's adorable. Okay, let's see what... Okay, Tempest is going to be awesome. Like, awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. So, hey, don't worry about being expelled. Okay, dude, I'm fine. Who the fuck is Justin? Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom just made me go to her book group. Oh, man. I don't know who the fuck Justin is. I don't remember. I might just have a bad memory. Is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. <sighs> I'm in the red. Uh, oh, I see. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's Fred. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell him. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Fuck his hey, dream cloud. So, uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So, why are you so hung up on this chick? Mm. I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. I like his tattoo. Thanks. It's for his neck. Telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Uh-oh. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck seventy-five? What? The money 
that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, you have it? Give me, like, another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Why would I know? <laughs> no, I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Why would we do this? Yeah, I was gonna say, why would I- Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. I feel like we're gonna get in What's so much matter? trouble. It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackball. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do Good deal. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? <sighs> yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to work. I hope this isn't another sneaking mission because Christ, I hate those. I hated that in the, the first game. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and back at school again yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here actually running an error for a dealer. Oh really so bad so bad. Come see me when you're done, yeah sure. PS I saw that woman your dad was with, out with with my de dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name is Sarah. Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Get into the dorms. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Barb. The elf barbarian. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How is my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So, what are you doing here?
Uh, I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Death. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Sure. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you- Oh, God! Her. Make- Oh, gosh. Make a move? So, are you? Uh, I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me. Yeah. You think we're together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her and maybe she has a thing for you. Well, she's been and I wouldn't want to so. get in the way. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. Yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can. Right. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Can I look through her? I don't know if she'll get Why, married. yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy world. That's cool. Alright, I kind of want to look around a little bit. Just a tempest. Is there anything else to look at? There's some guy over here. Who the fuck is this? Hello, birdie. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Come on. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decision? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Uh, yeah, fuck him. Hey, uh, Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That hey, sure. is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lie. You see what happened? Mm. <laughs> Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? He it's reminds fine. me of a kid that went to SVA. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. A That's anyway, not true. Anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Well, whatever. 
Oh, can I go in here? I can. It's this weird guy. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. I hate his voice so much. Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. Uh -huh. What? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell go, him. Man. Uh, it's been real. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price. Oh, okay. I guess I'm leaving. All right. All right. Let's go. Uh, it's about time for me to end the episode, but I kind of want to do this, so let's try and do it. Locked. Figures. Ah, damn it. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Oh, okay. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Making a squirrel set at you. I can look at it, but okay. The prodigal girl returns. What shall we talk about? I don't know what the fuck they're saying. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamond. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or... Is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with other? Uh, okay. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay. Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want hidden. All right. Well, what do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce who does what she wants and doesn't care what <laughs> others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I'm, uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Okay. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Oh, okay. Time for a fresh start. 
Do I have to like take these? Nope. Okay. How do I take the bird seeds? Max would have jumped on that photographer position. I don't understand. Here's a stick. Can't look at the stick. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. It's funny. That I can't walk through it. Welcome to hell. Can I make more of it? Oh no, I can't. Um, hmm. Final exams poster. What does it want me to do exactly? I don't understand. Hold on. I can if sit I can here with that bird far enough away. Well, how would I won't see me break that sprinkler? I'll see you at the tempest. How do I get it to move? Like over there. Here we go. But now he's looking right at it. So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Where were the fuck do we scare him? One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. I don't understand this. So do I just do it at a specific angle? I need to get that bird away from the quad, so I... What? This is so weird. I don't understand... Almost the puzzle. There. Okay, so he it wants it to be here. I don't understand this. This is like so. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn off. <laughs> that works. It's so obviously her. I wonder who did it. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. Okay, so I might end it here because it's right at the mark, and I think it's gonna take too long to go into the room. I thought we could just go in, but it looks like we can't. So I'll just do this for next time. Sorry, guys. I know we, we're just getting to the exciting part, and then. I have to I have to end the video but yeah we're like past it now so I guess I'll see you guys um on the next part just pay attention to the next part if you want to see I was going to uh Drew's apartment which I'm sure apartment dorm which I'm sure will be interesting so I'll see you guys
Hello guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my game Vacant. It's free right now off of itch.io and early access. I would really love to hear your guys' feedback and comments and all that jazz. The link will be in the description if you want to see more.